Hey everyone, how's it going? So I thought I'd give uh, Cubecraft one more go. So here we go. It's queuing up. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> yeah, this life drafter stuff is quite interesting. Let's see what we get this time. Last time we had a green white deck. Alright, let's see what we open. So, Great Henge, obviously, great card. Could go into ramp in green. Path of Bravery, as long as your life total is greater than or equal to your starting life total, it's an anthem. And gain this life, so it could be life gain. Breeding Pool is nice, but it does commit us to two colors. It's a Trium, Angel, Charmander for Flyers. Uh, not great. Brontodon is nice and green. Scourge is also really nice and green. Um, could be a plus and plus encounter synergy. Starting to look out is some explorer. Strategic planning is nice. Uh, harvest is not terrible removal. Alright, yeah. Great Henge is by far the best in this pack. Okay, let's see what we have. Score Spirit Dancer is Auras, so we could go into green white Auras potentially. Knight of Autumn is just super flexible. It's nice, but it is two colors. Pride of Conquerors, uh, two mana instant, plus one plus one, could be a finisher in white. Kismina, some card draw discard synergy, counter spell, protection, play crafter is some decent removal. Branch Walker is a nice early play. I don't know if it's better than Knight of Autumn though. Empyrean Eagle not in our colors. Um, some flank synergy. Kiora is a nice uh Big mana, big mana play, planeswalker. Could be nice. It is flexible. It does fit. Um, but yeah, Knight of Autumn just so flexible. I find it hard to pass up on it. Okay, let's see. What a white card in the rare. So Archon of Redemption is three double white, three four. Whenever Archon or another creature flying enters, you may gain life equal to that creature's power. All right, so some life gain synergy. Not bad. Some Midnight Clock, Incident Sorcery Copy in Red, Stomping Ground, so looks like we might go green-white again. Stomping Ground is nice. Quite a few red cards here, although they're not great. Untamed Cow is actually a pretty nice green creature. I'd be pretty happy if that wheeled. Greater Sandrum is not terrible either. Pride Mate is also pretty good for life gain synergy. Conjurant is not a terrible include, could be filler. Let's get the Archon for now. Unbreakable Formation, another really nice white card. It gives indestructibles, it can be protection. Really nice for go white strategies, which I don't know if you will have. Soul Scar and Darnay seem can be really nice for red caster. So is Brineborn. Someone's gonna have a really nice uh, red blue caster deck. Just Lion Giant. Um, Just takes random counters every turn. All right. Some life gain synergy on this guy. Can untap him. Uh, creature enchantment spells can't be counter. That sounds really good. Target land you control becomes a uh, troll bird guardian. Just a five mana five five. Give stuff trample. Could be nice synergy with great hench potentially. Blink of an eye is really nice removal and card draw too though. Lifelink on Acolyte is nice. Alright, Oath of Gaia. Good splashable. Sigil Sword is actually not terrible. Gives us some tokens. What else do we have in green? Uh, not great. Helots Pilgrim, search for an aura. Could be good if you have nice auras. Uh, plus one, plus one, and Lifelink. Great of Vampire with Lifelink. Yeah, I'm not seeing. Two great cards. This this pack looks pretty bad, honestly. Charter course is not terrible in blue. Hateful Eidolon would have been nice with enchantments. So currently, we're looking like uh, some life gain synergy deck. Um, Emriel is decent. Gives us some blink effects and um, plus on plus on counters. Star of Extinction in red. Wadley Warrior Poet. 
life gain, but you have to splash right for that. Interesting. Integrity intervention. It's pump on the integrity side. Some life gain and damage on the interventions. I really love this splash red. Oh, Emriel is not terrible though. We could just go Emriel. Right. Femia. Some enchantment stuff. Temple of Melody will let us splash black. Ulti is a knife protection spell. Uh, Unicorn is not necessary. Gust Walker. Lost and Lost and Flying is a decent early drop. Oconcli Mentor is an even better early drop than it's in our colors. It has some life gain and plus and plus and counter synergy. Sun Petal Grove is nice fixing. Apart from that, we have Leaf King Druid, which helps us ramp. But currently, we don't really need that desperately. I think the land is worth it. Thassa's Intervention is okay. Mary Conjecture is pretty cool for that. Angel of Vitality is nice with the life gain synergy. Pride of Conquerors, Wheels, everything else is in blue. Looks like not many people are in uh, blue flyers or control. Spell Pierce and Sinister Sabotage both came back. So you just take Pride. Right, Midnight Clock, Guild Mages Forum. Multicolored spell could work. Greater Sandworm could be an inclusion. Has cycling. It's a 7 drop. Famish Paladin, sure. Uh, Pilgrim, sure. Potential. Uh, maybe if we pick up blue cards. Gustwalker. Uh, not a bad 2 drop, honestly, for a filler. Alright, Divine Visitation. Here it comes again. So, Divine Visitation, pretty good if we have token synergy. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any cards right now that makes tokens. Well, okay, Sigil Sword makes tokens. But that's pretty much it. What does Salvala do? Another, another creature enters uh, its controller. We draw a card if it's power greater than each other creature's power, so reward you for big stuff. And lets you do big mana stuff. So you could just try to go big mana with Salvala. I mean, Divine Visitation is very tempting, but it's also <laughs> very meme -y. Might not work. In this pack, Legion's Landing would be a nice card if it wheeled, but that's very unlikely. We'd also like to see Daxos. Leonin Vanguard might be good for life gain synergy. The Tranquil Ticket would also be a nice one. Alright, Belt Collector is not terrible. Uh, greater Creature Power thing might work really well with Salvala. It could go pretty dangerous. Danitha is not terrible with lifelink vigilance for a strike either. You don't actually have uh, enchantments for her, but you do have Sigil Sword that would work with her. Um, what is Ancestral Blade? Creates a soldier token and then it gets the thing, okay. Blood Collector is a premium one drop. Has lifelink as long as that is plus one plus one. Interesting. Doesn't seem too great. Uh, the Wheeling Danatha would be nice. I think Belt Collector is a decent 1 drop. Let's look at our curve. We don't have any 1 drops. We have a decent number of 3 drops. So the Danatha is not necessary. Sigil of the Empty Throne. Whenever you cast an enchantment, get an angel. That is nice. How many enchantments do we have? Uh, 1 if we count Destiny Spinner. Yeah, that's not great right now. Uh, Castle Garden Break does give us ramp, it's not terrible. Griffin Airy, if you gain 3 or more life, create a Griffin creature. This would work a lot better than Sigil of the Empty Throne, even though Throne is obviously much better. Start to finish, great tokens. Bloom Hulk is 4 mana proliferate. We do have some plus and plus encounters energy, it's not the worst. But just creating 2 2 flyers from incidental life claim sounds a lot better in our deck. Luna doesn't really fit. Um, wow. Okay, Soul Warden is really nice though. One mana, one one. Uh, life gains right off the bat. Titanic Roll is okay if you get big enough creatures. It's an easy pick though. It's pretty dry back for us. Momentous Fall. It's four mana green instant. You have to sacrifice a creature. Draw cards equal to power and gain life equal to toughness. All right. Patron of the Valiant, 4-4 uh, Flying Angel, 
Mage enters, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature with the plus one plus one counter on it. Next round, the beginning of combat, turn enchanted creature, enchantment creature gets plus one plus one and trample, gets a one turn bonus. The beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, each opponent loses three life. It's decent, but it needs a black splash, but there's nothing too great in this back for us. Um, I mean, Momentous Fall is decent card draw, um, but yeah, that's, I don't know, it, it seems a little unreliable. Branching Evolution, one plus and plus and we put, uh, okay, so plus and plus and counter synergy. Whenever you gain life, put plus and plus and counters on the Paladin, and it gives a double strike, so some life synergy, Nessie and Wonder against lands. Okay, so it has to be Evolution or Paladin. Paladin is a four drop. Evolution is plus and plus and counter synergy, which works with one, um, two, three, three creatures, maybe. Oh, maybe the Paladin would have been better. Fiend Artisan, double green. Plus and plus and for each creature in the graveyard. Sacrifice, um, Hmm. Wonderful Knight gives us a one drop, nothing else really to get except Karn's Bastion. Might as well get the Fiend Artisan. It's a patient rebuilding in that pack though. Dawn of Hope, whenever you gain life you may pay a two if you do draw a card. That sounds really good. It turns our life gain into a card draw engine. Equal to your devotion to white. Uh, it's not gonna be very high. Status statue. Temple of Plenty on the wheel or scattered cards would be really nice though. I would like that fixing. Feel of the Dead is kind of late to the party. Ooh, Legion's Landing comes back, Leon and Vanguard, and so does Divine Visitation. We still do not have the best setup for Visitation. We do make some tokens with Griffin, Airy, and Dawn of Hope. Um, so Visitation is worth the consideration, and Citadel Sword. Maybe Visitation, although come on, Legion's Landing is just so good. It's a one drop. Okay, we took it. We're, we're going for the memory. All right. Ancestral Blade. Uh, Sigil Contender. None of these seem great. So I guess we can pick up Ancestral Blade. Create two White Warriors, Soldier Tokens, and then destroy target creature. Tap two creatures and flying. So two, three flying, sure. Doesn't seem great. Or Karn's Bastion. All right. All right, Heliod. That's a payoff we like to see. Uh, Aaron's first games is okay, not great. Cartouche is decent. Pacifism is nice. I would like to see that back. Forsake the Worldly is not terrible. Three mana exile target artifact or enchantment with cycling. Explore is also not terrible. And this does not fit into our deck. Whenever creature token enters, you gain one life. And is bomb. This would also be not bad. Some life gains energy. Sarah's Ascendant. Yes, please. Locks it on. Ooh, Black Page Reforged. All that glitters. Exaltation. Some spicy picks in this pack. Some enchantment synergy that we don't have. Right, do we have enchantments? Six right now. Is that what it says? Uh, Rolask, Nickel Bolas. Cultivate gives us ramp. Get stuff back. Draw a card, plus one, plus zero, and trample. Lead the stampede. Look at the top five cards. You may read any number of creatures and put the rest in the bottom. So Pretty good card draw. Although cult the ramp with cultivate might be a little better. Although our curve is not that high, honestly. We might just want to lead the stampede to refill our hand and uh, keep the gas going. Yeah, I think that's that's gotta be it. A Johnny, more life gain synergy. Oof, this is looking very similar to our previous deck, honestly. 
Lock Mirror, Orgon 2, Woodland Champion, not as great, obviously. Let's grab the Ajani. This is very interesting. Hushbringer has lifelink. Prevents ETB triggers though, which kind of disables a lot of our own deck. Sifter Worm. It enters um, Scry 3, then reveal top card, you can life equal to its cost. 7 mana, 7-7 seven, seven trample. Um, I mean, what about the Ocelot? Put those counters in Ocelot. Okay, that, that could work, honestly. Chamber Sentry won't be too good in our deck, we only have two colors. It explores, uh, 3 mana to 1 for a strike for explorers doesn't sound too great. Enters the battlefield for a trample counter on a non human creature. Maybe? I don't know, let's just get the chamber sentry as filler. Entrances as presence or grammar as blessing. Hexproof or indestructible. Sure. Don't think we have enough enchantments to make good use of it. We have like Helia, Destiny Spinner. It's pretty much it. Do you have a bunch of artifacts? Find finality. Uh, create a cat creature token. Some token synergy, I guess. Incubation. Uh, can dig us a creature. Find finality can return creatures from graveyards. Gives us a board wipe potentially. Pacifism, better than Forsake the Worldly. All that glitters, Exaltation, Ancestral Mask, we don't have that many enchantments. Uh, artifacts, we do have some artifacts. Three of this from a graveyard to the battlefield. Um, it's not great, not terrible. So maybe this one? Maybe, actually no, I think all that glitters. Uh, let's just take transmutation. Does not matter. Uh, sure, mindstone. Trium. Sphinx. Alright, I think that's the end of it. Oh, let's see what we can put together now. Hopefully, the deck building experience is slightly better than it was last time. Alright, so let's keep all the life gain synergies. Uh, so Ascendant, Soul Warden, Power Character is not necessary, nor is this, nor is this. This isn't necessary, this isn't necessary, Dawn of Hope is nice. Maybe this is nice. Uh, maybe, yes. Mm, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, probably good, has life gains energy. Mindstone, don't know. Angel Fidelity is good, Heliod's good. Don't know about Pilgrim, don't know about this guy. Plus and plus encounters, probably keep it, probably keep it, probably keep it, maybe. A Johnny keep it, Emriel keep it, Momentous Fall, don't know. Archon, keep it, as life gain, visitation, we don't know, fine, we don't know. Sandrum, we don't know, and create entry, keep it, alright. Proliferate, so now, let's try to see. So this is all our life gain synergy, sort of. Um... This becomes really big. This helps us gain life. Whenever we gain life, this is card draw. Spay off for life gain. Removal. It's plus one, plus one synergy. And some gain life. So we could go into plus one, plus one side synergy. Because that also works with our Ajani and with our Emil. So that's true. Angel. We have to make sure we have a high creature count, unlike last time. Angel. Heliod. Leave the stampede it helps us dig. Some ramp and helps us draw potentially. Night of Autumn. It's plus one plus one and life gains energy. Um, it's only actually with flying. So you get some synergy from that potentially. I guess all the Griffin creature tokens are with flying. Is this non-token? No, it's not non-token. I guess that could work as a combo. Alright. So now, let's see. Plus one, plus one, or protection. This is protection, but it's um, enchanted or enchantment creatures. So a Destiny Spinner. 
prevents creatures and enchantments from being uh, countered. So that seems like a good addition. Pride of Conquerors could be a finisher, I don't know. <laughs> Is there an aura that we desperately need? That's an enchantment. Pacifism is an aura. Pacifism is the only aura, so Pil Pilgrim seems kind of useless. Lizardation might be good, we don't know. Fiend Artisan grows f with the graveyard. It can help us. Um, fetch cards from our deck. Okay, so Belt Collector might be good because it just grows. Most stuff will be bigger than Belt Collector, at least eventually. This is an enchantment that grows stuff more. Momentous Fall doesn't seem exactly necessary. Fiend Artisan seems like a nice inclusion though. This is kind of slow ramp. Silver so Sword seems like a good equipment. It does cost 3 to play and then 3 more to equip, but the Vigilance plus the tokens seem pretty good. Um, Gustwalker is just a 2-2, if you exert it also against flying, so it doesn't do great. Just create the token. Artifact and enchantments, how many of those do we have? Two artifacts, six enchantments. So eight total. Wait, also we don't need this Temple of Enlightenment, we're not playing any blue. Or the Zagoth Triome. Eight, seven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, looks fine. Do you need the, I mean, Card Sebastian might be useful because we have plus one, plus one synergy. Uh, Greater Sandworm could be a pseudo finisher. What is our finisher in this deck? Um, a Johnny. Guess Sarah Ascendant if we get a bunch of life. Flares can grow somewhat big. Could spawn a bunch of tokens. Could get visitation in here. Also, let good work in this deck. Don't have that many enchantment creatures. That's basically this guy was indestructible already. And Destiny Spinner. Scar Metro's Blessing, unfortunately, doesn't do too much except give plus two plus two. Famish Penalton is a two mana three three who does untap pretty often. With our life gain. I don't know how relevant that is. It's like fake vigilance in this deck, I guess. Ghostwalker might be slightly better because of the flying. It's our creature count right now 12 and 10 non creatures. You definitely want another creature. It's our last pick. Could get the Sandworm as a 7 7. It's kind of a late game threat. Can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less and has cycling 2. Could be a curve topper for us. Alternatively, we could play Find, which gets us two creatures back from the graveyard. Two creatures specifically, though. Momentous Fall is a decent life gain plus card draw reaction to like opponent's removal, but you have to keep mana up for that, and seems like a lot of work. Pride of Conquerors actually doesn't seem too bad if we're going to spawn a bunch of tokens. It might be worth including. Could try to run the deck like this. Uh, what is this? Celez, Nia. Is it Nia? I don't know. Life tokens. Great Henge can read the image, sure. 
uh, land base, uh, let's see, 14 white, 9 green, 1 black uh, fiend artist, it doesn't matter. Um, so we have 9 white sources, 8 green sources, and Karn's Bastion seems fine. Yeah, let's test it out. Um, hopefully it does better than our previous deck. I, I have... Um, I have hopes for this deck. Alright, looks like we're up against some guy named Saxon. Earth with Pacifism, Heliod, Sigil uh, Sword, and Great Hand in the Hand. So it's not great, no creatures per se to keep, but it's a nice distribution. So you could go planes into Sun Petal Grove. Turn 3 we could play Heliod or Sigil Sword. Heliod does come down with an enchantment and it's indestructible so what about Branching Evolution? For now it's just a bunch of do-nothing cards. Never gain life, that's not happening anytime soon. Guess we could play Branching Evolution. Could have played Sigil Sword potentially in case we drew a creature next turn, we'd have set that up. I don't know. Oh no, what is this? Discard a card. Let's tidy up in there. Uh maybe pacifism. Card Sebastian, Pelt Collector. Oh, do I want to discard Sigil Sword? Or Heliod, or none of them. I feel like I want it to be none of them. But if he does take our Dravriel's discard, uh, it's gonna have to be one of these two. I mean, I do like Great Henge. I don't think you'll be needing that. Oh, it costs eight, though. And we're currently only at four mana. Could play Sigil Sword. I don't know. Maybe discarding Great Henge is the wrong choice. Plus minus one. Okay. All I've left you is Spot collector can no longer attack, unfortunately. Could give left link to belt collector, although um, gun attack. So this end turn. A little doubtful. Oh man, resplendent angel. This could be the end of us. We don't have a way to deal with that. And we take damage from Davriel right now. It's three on with vigilance. You can just block it with the Amit though. It doesn't have first strike. And put any counters on it. It does create a do to creature that's attacking, but without any buffs, that doesn't do much. So it's not looking good for us. Enchant permanent. When it enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Can't attack or block, and abilities can't be activated. Yikes. That all sounds very bad. Might just be done for. Yikes. Yep, this is looking like a quick loss. Kind of proliferate because there's no counters on Belt Collector. This is GG. Oh man, that was. 
such a bad loss. Oh, I have to check the creature count again. I feel like I, we should have enough creatures, but maybe I didn't count. Twelve to eleven. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Non creatures. Branching evolution. Should we cut it? We do have a fair amount of plus and plus one synergy, though. So John, he's not a creature. He doesn't spawn creatures either, although he can return uh, two or less mana creatures, which you don't have a lot of actually. Could add like Paladin or Gustwalker to the deck. Chamber Sentry. Maybe remove the Ocelot. Or Visitation. Or Evolution. Sigil Sword. Pride of Conquerors, maybe remove Pride of Conquerors, add a Gust Walker. It's not a big change, but let's see how it goes. Oof, let's hope uh, we get off to a better start than we did last time. Things are not looking so great right now. The Jiggly Fat. Right, turn one Soul Warden, Feared and Addison, Silvala. Looks like a nice curve at least. Although you won't be able to play Feared and Addison on two because of the mana cost. Uh, and we can't play Angel of Vitality either. Looks like opponent's on red. That makes our Soul Warden somewhat vulnerable. Right, so we could play Angel or Silvala. Silvala does ramp us a bit. Uh, although, if we tap for one green and she has one mana basically. Which is not great. We go Angel of Vitality. Gets us a lot of life gain. What does opponent have? Just some instant speed stuff. Alright, Cycles Migration Bath, so red green potentially. Alright, um, maybe they didn't draw the lands, but no forests, a green hand, it's possible. Alright, at least you get one win, it's not gonna be a no win, no win streak, although it was not a satisfying win. Right, looks like against Taminosis with Sarah as his uh, avatar. Angel, Harsh Mentor on 2, Destiny Spinner on 2 could also be good. If opponent is in blue. And we do have both our colors of mana. Let's start with green. Opponent in red white, that is not blue. Though Destiny Spinner being a 2 3 could be a nice drop. Because it does block the bright mid. Ooh. That has life gain. Uh, if you can 3 or more life, create a token with flying. That doesn't sound too good for me. Sigil Sword could make this a 4 3. Just gonna help it start attacking. Although not really, we might want to get Angel down first. If we attack with the 2-3, they could double block. Could kill the Pride Mate, but Destiny Spinner would die. So it doesn't seem worth it. 
plus one plus one and indestructible, isn't it? Could block like this. Okay, let's think here. Uh, I think we can go forest. Can't drop great hand yet. We could drop a conclave mentor. Uh, we could drop a sigil sword. We drop a sigil sword next turn. We can drop mentor and equip the sigil sword. Might be the play. Let's attack with angel vitality. Try not to let the opponent get too much life. This is four life now, which means it's very problematic. Uh, interesting. Can block that. Pride mate is really causing us problems, though. Soul warden. Can equip this. Swing with the angel. Let's get vigilance. Play mentor, I guess. Good, great hand checks. Oh my god, no. Not a splendid angel. Up to 5 5. I could double block. Lose two creatures for. One of them is my angel of vitality, which is my only blocker for a splendid angel. This is looking very bad. Fiend Artisan. No creatures in my graveyard. Comes out as a 1 1. The Soul Warden pays for itself. Gust Walker. Fiend Artisan. Uh, if Resplendent Angel does block, I'm okay with it. And I'm getting life gain from Soul Warden now. So fighting against the Johnny's Pride Mate, so the Pride Mate is growing pretty large. Oh man, not Bastion. Are you kidding me? Can't block anything. Play this. Let's play Gustwalker. I'll pay. Are you kidding me? Sacrifice another creature. Sacrifice Destiny Spinner. Conclave Mentor. Five, I think we cap out at five. Could attack with this, this planet Angel. Oh, that's like not even worth it. Can pump it to be a uh, five five. Never got to the twenty five life. To attack with the pride mate.
One. Okay, already tapped. Great hinge. Think pacifism, the pride mate. This is now big enough to block. Can attack with this because he has the angel token. Ah, oh, yikes, he has flyers now. Fake sir, it becomes a 5 5 with flying, but then it can't be a blocker for a lot of these ground creatures. Yikes, next turn though, we could lead the stampede. Ah, oh, okay, that's. It not is good. good to see you, my friend. Puts. You are capable of more than you assume. Yep. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Decline. Get our own Ajani, get our own Angels. Although they don't get the Great Henge bonus. You can swing with this, they can just block out with the Angel. And now we are spawning our own Angels. So you don't actually care. Uh, the Ground Soldier it spawns though. Own benefit. Oh wait a second. Spawn the freaking angel. Sigil sword is doing work now. We'll have to re-equip it to someone though, maybe one of the angel tokens, like this guy. Okay, now we have angel blockers for a splendid angel as well. Pacifism on the pride mate. Let's see, what does this do? I haven't seen this card before. Bastion of Remembrance. Uh, create a human soldier token. Okay. Whenever creature control dies, each of all loses one life, you gain one life. Okay, added some counters. Alright, we can add our own counters. Uh, that does not CMC2 or less. Can play in a Johnny, can equip. Equip the Sigil Sword to one of these guys. Uh, 16 cards left. Could draw a card. Call to sacrifice the soldier token. Do you fetch R5 drop? Let's see, uh, how much mana do we have left? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, we play this as 4, we have 5 left. Um, we can tap 1 plus 4. We can actually get a horse boy with that. So I'm not too sad about that. So what we can do is we'll do this. Cut the counter on. Alright. <laughs> have our own Ajani. And a divine visitation. Well, we we got divine visitation to work. Honestly, that that game was looking pretty bad, but uh, Soul Shepherd. That's not the life gain synergy. I think we kind of turned it around. Okay, let's let's go one more. I know this is getting kind of long, but after that game, it's uh, I gotta see if it if it works or if it's just uh, in the mirror match, it was like a one trick. It did take us very long to set up the engine though, but once it was there, man, the life gain was insane. Just even chaining the card draw into Dawn of Hope was, was pretty sweet. Or is there Ascendant, Griffin, Airy, Gustwalker, and Angel. It's like, nice early game cards, definitely. You can go 1, 2, 3. So Lala, we don't have double green yet. Dawn of Hope, double white, looks like opponent might also be in a life gain deck. Um, three or more life. Well, we'd get one from the lifelink on this. Potentially one more. 
I don't know how we'd get the third life though. I don't know if I should play Gastral or Griffin Airy. Let's play the Airy potentially. Hopefully we can set up something. Looks like okay. we'll opponent in Boros. It attacks, uh, so it's gonna be a 2 3 and spawn 2 goblins. 2 3 is a tough one to block. We're 2 2 here. We have to sacrifice both of these guys to block out the Grenko. Which doesn't sound good. I wish we had some. Oh, okay, that's just not gonna be able to be blocked now. 3-4 Can't block it, that's very bad Familiar Bastion Um, good Make this a 2-2 do -do. Honestly that doesn't hope that much though A Johnny would probably die to the tokens, right? Cause it's 1-2-3-4 We could block 2 of them, 2 would go yeah, if you lock Renko as one, three would go at him. If you had five, it'd go down to like three. Maybe we should just play Donapop into Gustwalker. Could attack with Angel. Yeah, no, we don't have enough life for Sarah Ascendant. Nice. I'm just gonna make way too many tokens gotta kill this Grenko we have to sacrifice our entire board for it though that feels really bad opponent's just gonna spawn a million Grenkos next turn I mean goblins I don't think we can stop this I should have Oh, that's not it. This opponent does have Resplendent Angel and Angel attack. Oh, I could exert this guy. Then we might die to the tokens next turn. The opponent's not gonna block. Oh, opponent has this Angel to block with. Yeah, never mind. And four power. I mean, four life. That combos pretty well with Resplendent Angel, actually. So, opponent also has a life gain token stack. Very similar to ours, but in red white. Um, oh, and sh just did damage to our flying blocker. Which means we're basically dead. How much damage is that? 3, 7, plus 5 is 12. We have to block. Pulls us to one line. Hey, we have to draw a card though. The land. That's not gonna save us. So it's a 2, 3, gives us an Ajani. Yep. No. Exert won't save us. Oh man, this is oh. Yeah, maybe I should have just traded those for the Grenko, but we'd have had an empty board and... Their strength is <sighs> your strength. Feels bad. Plus, Pacify is the only piece of removal we have right now, I feel like. So literally have no way to survive except combat and just outliving the opponent. Block two tokens, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, we just got aggroed out this time. Can't deal with aggro. Don't think we have any cards to help us uh, stabilize in the early game. Let's check. Uh, two, three, and the pretty small creatures. Finality, but I mean we didn't even ramp up to six mana, so like that doesn't seem likely or helpful Yeah, I don't know doesn't seem too great. 
Anyway, we are two wins, two losses so far. Um, so we'll have to see how this goes in uh, the next video. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time.